Hi, I'm Kenny Gillis, and I'm about to show you the most amazing thing on earth. Look at this. Two Nissan Leafs charging whoa, 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 in the no, sun. I'm Kenny Gillis. <laughs> Give me this. Get out of here. This is my video. All right, the motor's going away. Ken here bought it. He's also got a silver 996. So we are hoping, fingers crossed, that the parts that he needs from this motor are good, which is the case halves, basically. That's it. All right, I am, I am fully committed to this Tesla swap now. <laughs> All right, we're in the DF51 tonight. Fueling up before we go down to Aurora. Aurora? Pick up a Tesla drive unit. It's the official DF51 package. It's very, very rare. Um, <laughs> yeah, you have to know somebody at the, at the Toyota back in 99. Yeah, in order to get it. it's like before TRD package. Oh, the TRD we scoff at. Yeah, you know? this is like three levels above TRD. Three levels. Yeah. All right, so we're we're trying Lost to figure the out. Line though, man. Yeah. Here's an office though. We're trying to figure out where to go. Number. Go through that door. Okay. Through the okay. Into the glass windows and Meredith will help. Awesome. Okay. How's it going? There it is. Yeah, look at it. Big yeah. shout out to Dan hey. and the truck. <laughs> yeah. Super pumped. Right. I am freaking super pumped. I bet. That's right, awesome. <laughs> Thanks, Matt. All right, see ya. It's here. We did it. Dan did it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we did it. Oh, no. <laughs> so here it is, 1500 bucks for the motor and the axles. That's a, such a good deal. Yeah. And I'll look to adapt these axles. Those are thick. And then these right here, so clearly some sort of cooling there's cooling Just gotta up. get some some new hoses on that thing or? all right so as you can see the drive unit has arrived and i'm super grateful for all of dan's help and and getting it here and um also want to give a shout out to cali motive which is where i got the tesla drive unit they were very easy to work with and uh you know we, they even let me negotiate a little bit on the price um so as you can see i got the drive unit w with the axles for 1500 bucks you know, and then shipping was added on top of that. All right, so in the next section, we'll be talking about the motor controller. I've started researching and shopping different options out there. Um, the motor controller is exactly what it sounds like. It will help me basically spin the motor. And um, so there's a couple options out there. And the one I'm looking at is from a company called EV Controls. And so... I realized one of my friends, um, a guy I met at Cars and Coffee a couple months ago, has this control unit on his Plymouth satellite. His name is Kevin Erickson, and his car actually just won Best in Show out at the Holly High Voltage event that was held in at Sonoma Raceway in California just after SEMA this year. Oh yeah, it gets it. <laughs> so uh, I got to talk with Kevin quite a bit about, you know, why he likes this particular unit and it was super helpful. So I'm gonna include just a, a small segment of our conversation. I may do a whole nother video on, you know, my time chatting with Kevin because there was just so much information there. So cool. you're gonna use the EV controls unit then? Well, I, was, I started looking. Um, I looked at like the 057 uh -huh. engineering one, and that you can't use if you buy your own drive unit. Gotcha, yep. So they want to sell you the whole package. Yeah. And this one, I came across it, and I was like, oh, Kevin's car is on, the, on their website. Yeah. So I was like, I might as well just go down and have a look yeah. and see what you think. I'm, I'm really curious about like what you can set up in it. Can you do traction control? Can you do Close. He's regen? He's almost got it. You can do regen for sure. Yeah. So... Um, when you saw me last time, yeah. I was running the Zero EV uh, inverter controller. So I swapped out the board out of the inverter. Okay. Um, and then I was doing some testing. I was doing um, launch control testing. Uh -huh. So I was holding the brake, full throttle, yep. release the brake, and it would launch. And so I was, I was tuning the torque curve, how much it ramps for my traction. Totally. Had it dialed in, and then I start playing with the regen, and I do a full launch into regen, and it blew the inverter. And uh, that was a weakness of that control board. 
And so of I didn't the, of the zero EV one. Yeah, and I didn't know that at the time because huh. they claim that they've never lost a board. Since then, I've talked to many people who have launched lost their board doing that exact same thing when it goes from power to regen. And it's just too much for the inverter. Their programming of it, it just didn't work out. Huh. And so it blew the fuse, blew the inverter. So I swapped out the inverter. That's when I went to EV controls. And here's what's great. So this about is it. recent. This is recent, yeah. Oh, okay. Um, so the EV controls box uses the factory Tesla software in tune. That's what I saw. You don't need to send your inverter off. No. Which... No, you can flash it right here. And then also you have all the protections of Tesla. You have their yeah. millions of miles of tuning. Yeah. And you have uh, it's perfect. I mean it's yeah. like night and day better. Really? Than the other one. Yeah. Like okay. no comparison. Okay, you know, the cool. Throttle is super smooth, the torque comes in hard. Yeah. It's got all the temperature limitations, so you can just go out there and beat it beat on it and it's not gonna let go so that's awesome yeah it looks so cool with the lights man this thing yeah. is sick it's <laughs> so bad i haven't picked the light yeah that'll be my next biggest expense that, yeah that little box right but i think i mean so you just go for it you'd get this one you like this one that's what they use two of these in a land speed car and i yeah. talked to those guys uh eddie that revolt is a company yeah and uh i mean they Nobody's pushed it, Tesla parts harder than these guys, or batteries harder than these guys. Yeah. And two Tesla, this exact motor, with no modifications, yeah. other than the configuration, they push two of them with two of those units full throttle for five minutes multiple times, and no failures of any kind. For five minutes. Five minutes at full throttle. How many? How much battery? Uh, so that was a. 50 kilowatt hour prismatic from the uh, Honda Insight that they Just built. 50. Yeah. All right, so big shout out to Kevin Erickson for taking the time to answer so many questions I had and 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 talk to me about the EV controls motor controller. I do think I'm going to go with that one and I did call EV West to make sure that it will work for you know my setup which is running the small drive unit in reverse rotation. Kevin did also give me a ride in his car, so I'll put a clip of that right now. So that little buzzing, that's my vacuum pump for the power brakes. Yep. It's just as needed, it just adds a little vacuum. I mean, it's totally silent. Totally. Yeah, all the two pumps are running right now, and vacuum pump, it's mostly tires. Because it's way quieter than a Tesla. Oh yeah, there's systems. Oh, they have working. a sound maker too at low speeds. Do they? The newer ones, yeah. Everything yeah. since 18 maybe. And it's this thing is rad. Oh, <laughs> oh my god! Oh yeah, it gets it. <laughs> yeah, just fine. Way too much fun. And that's like you were spinning it. We were already probably going 30 or 40 yeah. when it started spinning. On these concrete roads out here, it'll spin at every speed. <laughs> yeah, it's like a runway out here. <laughs> so, is there any traction control right now? Nothing. Just your foot. Just my foot. Yep. And I have the I have the rear shock soft still right now, so it does do some weight shift. Yeah. And uh, and then 55% rear weight that does help. Yeah, definitely. So it's as good as I can do. Yeah. Wow, that was uh yeah that, that's that's good that's pretty damn good so when you're in it there what's yeah. your throttle position oh uh, well here we'll just go full oh yeah so yeah <laughs> yeah Kicking up dust. yeah oh damn and what's cool is it's at any speed so like yeah it's just always right there <laughs> <laughs> the hood just like why? <laughs> Those shocks the way they sag. Yeah. yeah, that's great. Wow. Damn. Yeah, that's okay. the thing about electric. Let's make sure you have high back seats. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Boy, yeah. All right, I'll wrap this video up here oh, with a shot from Cars and Coffee this month. This was a beautiful 997.2 GT3 RS. That's the plus. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this update video and please subscribe if you haven't already.